problem is from complex integration and now in this video you are going to get a solution for the most important problem. See here in this video we have to show that integral z plus 1 dz is equal to 0 where c is the boundary of the square whose vertices are z is equal to 0, z is equal to 1, z is equal to 1 plus y and z is equal to i. See here what is the integral given? So the integral is given as z plus 1 into dz. As you know that z is nothing but x plus i into y and dz value will be dx plus i into dy and given limits are z is equal to 0 here z is equal to 1 z is equal to 1 plus i and z is equal to i so this can be written as so here z can be written as 0 plus i into 0 z is equal to this is the real part and the imaginary part is 0 here this is 1 plus i and here the real part is 0 and 1 times of i so the coordinates will be x axis 0, y axis 0. Here this is 1 comma 0. This is 1 comma 1. And here x axis 0 and y axis 1. So this will be the plane. See here if I plot this. So as you know that this is the origin point And see this is 0 comma 0, 1 comma 0. So this is 1 comma 0. And the next thing here is this, this point is nothing but this is uh, 0 comma 1 and here the point here is 1 comma 1. So this is the region. So this is 0, A, B and C. See this is the required area. So we have to find out this integral along AO, AB, BC and CO. See first of all along AO. Along AO what happens? along OA. So O point is nothing but 0 comma 0 and uh, A point is nothing but uh, 1 comma 0. So here Y axis is equal to 0 and X varies from the point 0 to 1. X varies from the point 0 to 0 to 1. If y is equal to 0, dy value is equal to 0. So origin point here is 0 comma 0. And see, everything we have to substitute here in this equation that is integral z plus 1 into dz. So, this is d into z. So, what is z here? z is nothing but x plus i y plus 1. dz is nothing but dx plus i times of dy. So, in this dy is equal to 0 and y is also 0. If I substitute all these, what happens here? This will be x plus 1 into dx and x limits are from 0 to 1. Now, if I integrate with respect to x, this will be x square by 2 plus x between the limit 0 to 1, which is equal to half plus 1, which is equal to 3 by 2. Therefore, along OA, f of z dz value is 3 by 2. And name it this one as equation 1. And next one along AB. So, we have to find along AB. Along AB, this is A and this is B. Along AB, what is the A point here? A point is 1 comma 0. B point is nothing but 1 comma 1. If you observe, X is a stable value, constant value as 1. And Y varies from the point. Y varies from the point 0 to 1. If X is equal to 1, DX is equal to 0 the derivative will be 0 so we have to find out this integral that is integral this is along ab integral z plus 1 into dz what is z z is nothing but x plus i into y plus 1 and dx is nothing but dx plus x into dy so here dx is equal to 0 and in place of x i need to substitute 1 so here y varies from 0 to 1 this is 1 plus i y plus 1 into i into dy so this will be y is equal to 0 to 1 this is 2 plus i y into i into dy if i multiply with i then see this is 2y minus y into dy. So, if I integrate with respect to y, this will be y and this is y square by 2. Between the limits, this is 0 
to 1. So if I substitute the upper limit here, then this will be 2i minus half. So this is integral a to b. This is z plus 1 into dz. So let us name it as equation b. And now see along. Now this time we have to find out along uh, a, b is completed. See from this figure along O A is completed, A B is completed along B C. So along B comma C, B point here is 1 comma 1 and C point here is 0 comma 1. So this value is uh, 0 comma 1. If you see Y value is stable as 1 and X varies from 0 to x varies from 1 to, z, 1 to 0. If y is equal to 1, the derivative here will be 0. Now we have to find out the integral. So which integral? That is along bc, z plus 1 into dz. So z is nothing but x plus i into y plus 1 and dz is nothing but dx plus i into dy. Here dy value is equal to 0. In place of y we need to substitute 1 here. So x varies from 1 to 0. This is x plus i plus 1 into dx. So if I integrate with respect to x then this will become. So integral bc this is z plus 1 into dz. x is equal to x square by 2. This is xi plus x. 1 to 0. So if I substitute 0 here, this is 0, this is 0 and this will be half minus i, this is minus 1. So this will be minus i, minus half minus 1, this is minus 2 minus 1, minus 3 by 2. Therefore, along BC, z plus 1 into dz value is nothing but minus half minus 3 by 2, the value here is c. And next c here along OA is completed, AB is completed, BC is completed along CO. So this time along CO, what is the point C here? 0, 1 and origin point is nothing but 0, 0. And if you see X value is stable and Y varies from 1 to 0. So X is equal to 0 then DX value is equal to 0 and Y varies from the point 1 to 0. Now we have to find out the integral along CO. That is along CO Z plus 1 into DZ value will be Z is equal to X plus I into Y and DZ DX plus I into DY and Y varies from 0 to 1. So here x is equal to 0. dx is equal to 0. What remains? y points. So y is equal to 1 to 0. i y and this is i into dy. So i square. This is i square is minus 1. So this is minus y into dy which is equal to minus y square by 2 between the limit 0 to 1. So upper limit 0 and minus of minus plus half. So, so this value is equal to see here this is z plus 1. So there is a 1 here. So there is a 1 here. So this is i square minus plus i. So there is another thing i here. So this value will be plus i into y. So this is 0 and for i minus 1 and this is uh, minus i. So this value will be minus i. Therefore along CO z plus 1 into dz value is half minus i. So plus half minus i. Therefore the total integral that is integral z plus 1 into dz value along the square is nothing but OA f of z dz into next a b f of z dz plus along b c f of z dz plus along c o f of z dz. So all the values are ready with us that is z plus 1 dz along o a. So the value the first value here I will show along o a the value here is 3 by 2. So this value is nothing but this is 3 by 2 and the next value here is 2i minus half. So this value is nothing but 2y minus half. And the c value is nothing but minus i minus 3 by 2. Minus i 
minus 3 by 2 and this value is half minus i. So if you see properly this is plus 2i and these are minus 2i cancel and this is plus half and minus half. So all these got cancelled and the final answer here for z plus 1 dz value is equal to 0. So this is how we have to solve and this is so simple if you understand these steps. And first of all the question here is like this. See the question z plus 1 dz. So z is equal to x plus y y dz is equal to dx plus i into dy in the z plane. So uh, in the x y plane if I shift it all the, all the points are ready here. If I plot here so this is x axis and this is y axis and this is the origin point and this is the required square. And along the lines of these square we have to find out the integral. First of all along OA we got the value as a that is a 3 by 2 and along AB we got the value as 2i minus half and along BC we got the value as minus 1 minus 3 by 2 and along CO we got the value as uh, this is half minus i and if I add up all these we got the final answer. This is how we have to solve. Thank you so much for staying till the end and I will be uploading many more problems related to the Cauchy's integral theorem. Have a look at those. Those are also very, very important. If you really like, please pass it.